Um, Lalo na siya na yung lumabas kayo with your friends. Tapos, you guys are having fun, you know, drinking and, you know, just laughing and chilling with the music. And then, suddenly, you spot this one person and you found that person cute. And you want to talk to him or her. And then, you ask your brain, okay, what do I need to do to approach him? And then as you start asking more questions, meron na lang biglang parang something na umangat mula sa chan mo, paakit sa katawan mo, sa mukha mo, tas di mo na maramdaman yung kamay mo, yung paa mo, hindi mo na magalaw. Then di mo na napansin na you're paralyzed with the fear na nanggaling dun sa isang tanong na yun na how do I approach him or her? Ang ending na lang, kung di mo yung beer or yung inumin na nasa harapan mo, then you drink it, and then you just live on with your what ifs. If you feel that way, don't worry. I know how you feel. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to overcome the fear in approaching new people. Hi, my name is Ale Cuenca and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then I hope you click that subscribe button now or later kapag meron kang natutunan or natuwa ka. And if you're already subscribed, then welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoy your stay here. I hope meron kang matutunan and uh... Well, yeah. So last week, I posted uh, sa Instagram ko topics or questions na gusto nyo marinig ng mga tao sa small talk. And I'm really grateful for the people who replied. Some of them are really interesting questions. Some of them are not questions but really interesting topics. So I'll make sure to work on that. And I really apologize for not uploading last week kasi meron akong personal na ginawa sa weekends kaya hindi ko na esikasa to. Anyways, para makabawi naman, I'm gonna upload two episodes this week so watch out for the other one. So yeah, one of my friends, Don, asked me how to overcome the fear in approaching new people. And I know that he might not be, you know, personally troubling with that, but I really feel that this topic can help a lot of people maybe boost your self-esteem and boost your self-confidence. Kaya, I really wanted to make this video. Kaya, ayan, let's head on to the tips or tricks or whatever you want to call it. As all of my previous videos, it all starts with the questions why. You really need to evaluate yourself. Why are you feeling these kinds of things? Why are you frightened in approaching new people? Or the answer usually comes into either you are anxious, you have anxiety, or you just don't know what to do and you're afraid that you might get rejected. So if you have anxiety, this is not a video to cure your anxiety, but maybe these exercises will help you build your self-confidence para mas madaling itakil mo yung problema niya. If you are dealing with anxiety, then I suggest you go to a professional and seek professional help and watch other videos, uh, not this one, but other videos in the internet, in the internet para mas matulungan ka. If you just don't know what to do, then maybe this video is for you. Uh, sana makatulong itong mga tips ito para mas mabuso yung self-confidence mo. Parang hindi ka na matakot kasi wala ka naman talaga na dapat ikatakot. So number one is you need to be approachable. In order to approach people, you need to make yourself approachable first. Ang hirap kasi na lumapit ka sa mga tao without making yourself presentable or approachable in the first place. So how do you do that? You do that by mastering the art of smiling. Now approaching a person doesn't need to start sa mismong pag-uusap nyo na. It can start sa pagtingin nyo, pag nagkaroon kayo ng eye contact, pag nakita niya yung vibe mo, nakita mo yung vibe niya. And if you're giving out a negative vibe, pag nilapitan mo siya, mapapansin nyo na you're not that approachable so may hirapan kayong mag-connect. But if you're approachable in the first place, if you're smiling in the first place, if you're giving out positive energy, if you're really a person that has a great personality, an approachable personality, it's it will be much easier for you pag nilapita mo siya and then mas magkiklik yun, mas madaling magklik yun. So, if you want to approach people, you need to make yourself approachable first by smiling a lot. It, even in hand gestures or your eye contact, dapat hindi, med, dapat hindi sketchy yung datingan, dapat hindi hindi mo ang gagawin yung datingan. Dapat you yourself are presentable and approachable para mas madali na pag nilapita mo sila, magandang response mo. Number two is be curious. If you want to approach a person, you need to be curious about that person. In other words, you need to set your intentions right. Because if you want to approach that person with the thought na I need to win him over, you have the objective na kailangan po tingin niya sa akin. If you have that objectives, then medyo may hirapan ka kasi madaling isense ng i-approach mong tao yun. Pag binabullshit mo lang siya or you're not giving your genuine self or pinapakilala or pinapakita yung, yung totoong ikaw sa uh, pag-approach mo. Kasi, pag, pag approach ka kasi ng tao, you need to ask yourself, why are you doing it in the first place? Do you want to know that person more? Do you want to be friends with that person? If you want to be friends with that person, you need to be interested in that person. And you need to ask questions that will make you know that person more. So, dapat hindi ipinoproject mo yung sarili mo, ay, ako ganito, ay, ganito, ako ganito, ganito, ganito. You need to listen 
to the person you're approaching to para mas madaling mag-usap na ganyan. Kasi pag ganun, your expectations are not that high on yourself. You're not gonna be faking it. You're gonna be genuinely uh, approaching that person and making the time the approaching him or her worth it. Okay, number three, do not overthink. Drop your assumptions na meron ng judgments yung mga taong yan before you come up to them. Then, kasi most of the time, they really don't give a shit about you. And kahit na tinignan ka nila, wala pa rin silang pakialam sa'yo. Wala pa rin silang judgment sa'yo. So, pag inisip mo kasi na meron silang judgment sa'yo, mag-start ka na ma-paranoid. And eventually, yung bosses ng paranoia mo sa likod mo, lalaki na lalaki yan. Tapos, di mo mapansin na nakripple ka na yan. Di mo na alam kung ano yung totoo sa mga assumptions mo. Kaya, mapipigilan ka na yan, lumapit na lang. You need to drop the assumptions na masasaktan ka lang, mare-reject ka lang, eh, wala rin namang kwenta. If you really want to approach that person, then you need to stop overthinking. Just do it. You don't know how to do it, uh, you probably need to do it first. You won't really know until you try. Every person has a different personality. And what makes them is interesting is their uniqueness. Iba-iba talaga yan. So you just need to do it. If you feel that you want to approach that person, just do it. Kasi eventually, if it's gonna work out, then good. If it doesn't work out, then they'll just reject you politely and wala namang masama kung hindi talaga gonna work out. At least you know what doesn't work for you and eventually malalaman know what works for you. It's a win-win situation. Kaya, huwag ka naman matakot. Just don't. Eliminate the fear. Eliminate the overthinking. Just do it. Doon mo lang talaga malalaman yung mga bagay-bagay kapag sinubukan mo eh. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> Again, these tips or tricks ba to or strategy ba to, uh, these are all curated to you know boost your self-esteem, boost your self-confidence para eventually malaman mo kung saan ka magaling, sa pag-usap pa, sa ano bang mali sa'yo, ano yung mga gestures mo ba, para sa maging aware ka lang sa sarili mo kasi pag aware ka lang sa sarili mo, mas madali nang i-fix yung mga problema sa'yo and then mas madali nang i-eliminate yung mga fear na yan kahit saan pa yan in your family, in your friends, friendship, relationships or just approaching new people. If you know yourself, mas madali ka nang makipag-usap sa mga tao. If you will communicate better if you're confident with yourself, yeah, if you have a high self-esteem. Yung sinasabi ko na to, it hopefully it does boost your self-confidence or it does boost your self-esteem. Kasi wala talaga mawawala. Trust me, you just need to go out there. It's, it's a win-win situation. It's a win-win situation. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope it makes sense. Pangatlong shoot ko na to ng video na to. Ginawa ko to last week pero hindi ako nakontento sa lighting dahil sabi ko nga yung ko na yung lighting ko pero ngayon ginawa ulit siya medyo may mga pag pinagkaiba na from the previous so I hope it still makes sense medyo matagal ko na pinag-iisipan to eh kaya ayun so that's it for today thank you all so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't like this video if you don't agree with the, the things that I've just said then comment down below why if you have any comments suggestions or whatever just write it down below and I'll make sure to check them out and remember to click that subscribe button if you want to watch more videos like this again I am Ale Cuenca thank you so much for watching see you next video peace